time for a bit of cheeky <laughs> with Link Bows. <laughs> Um, it can be summed in a few words that Gandhi once said. Absolute fucking bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, the servers definitely. I mean, the fucking terrible. If this, if these servers, these are worse than the Battlefield servers when they were released. Uh, Battlefield oh, Four. Well, I don't know about when they were released. Awful. It was more about the gameplay was bad on Battlefield. It was like um, by the time I got the game, uh, the servers had been basically fixed because I bought it off a certain unnamed dickhead. Uh, we shall go unnamed. Just call, refer to him as Jisv. Mm. Or as I said, unnamed dickhead. All right, pop pop. Uh, yeah, so I'd say the worst thing in this game definitely servers. If these servers aren't fixed by the time this game release, then it's pretty much death of the game. It'll be like the because this has got a good basis for a competitive scene, like uh, the ability that CS:GO adds. Because it's it'll be a good console shooter as well. Because it's um, is the aim is like viable on console. I don't see how many people stick with games though, because it can be very frustrating. It can be, but it's also be very rewarding once you learn how to play the game. If you've got a good team as well and you're all communicating, this could be a very good platform for a fantastic yeah, but team player game. People who are going to buy this game like later on, uh, you know, when some people wait till the price drops, and for a game like this, you kind of would want to wait for the price to drop. What the fuck? <laughs> it's not going to be very. Um, Fighting to new players. To be fair, like the the way that works in this like game, it doesn't matter if you uh, buy the game late because everything you unlock doesn't really affect whether you um will do well or not. It's all just yeah, about your movement. Uh, what do you think of the uh, skill level in this game required to play the game? Obviously, it's high, isn't it? But then again, Rainbow Six games have always been high skill. Right, so Tom Clancy games, Rain Tom Clancy games have always been difficult. Well, no, Tom Clancy games in general don't need a high skill level because Splinter Cell is piss easy. Well, I mean, I remember playing the old ones on the PS2 and they were fucking incredibly difficult. I don't know if I was just really shit at the games back then, or it was just that that was incredibly difficult. Um, graphics, Hamish, what do you think of the graphics? Not great, and nothing special. I mean, they'll do. Certainly not yeah. difficult to tell who's who because they all just merge into one colour or anything like that. Well, they kind of do. I mean, you mentioned the blood on the wall when you saw it. I hate the way that you, uh, as your health goes lower, everything seems like black and white. I hate that. Especially since you get really low health quite quickly. I don't know what you're doing. I'm going to need to get you to get me a Luke. Oh, fuck now, the suicide Luke's bomber. like surrounded at the moment. Luke, revive him now, revive him. Don't look, don't move. Oh, don't go. I'm getting cover. Oh my god, it's really difficult to do a review whilst playing this game. I'm not even playing at the moment and I'm finding it difficult to talk watching his gameplay. Tell you what, it's one of those games that's constantly got you on edge and I love that about this when you've got those uh, 1v5 moments, 1v4 in the multiplayer. 
constant clutch moments. It's like some of the greatest. You are. When it's good, when this game is good, it's great. When it's not, it's frustrating, irritating, and at times just. I hate me I have a pistol. But I would say that will be down yeah, to your felt, way of yeah. playing it rather than uh, the actual game problem. The game gives you a platform to do well. Before. If you do bad, then it's your own fault. You only get frustrated also, when you die a lot. You could say that, but you also need at least somewhat competent teammates most of the time. Yeah, they need to. If you're not communicating with all the members of your team, then it's fucking dreadful. Uh, Luke, what's your opinion on anything in the game? Uh, it's a pretty good game. I like the way it feels. I like the way. Does it? Was it compared to Call of Duty? Because I feel like playing the. Remembering how I play Call of Duty. Uh, I feel um, quite similar, but I mean, granted, the new Call of Duty's, I don't know, so... Oh, it's, it's more nice. tactical, because this is like, sort of like a CSGO type game, whereas COD is just more of like a run around, gun, run and gun. Mm. It rewards so, you if uh, you do tactics, I'll give you that. Yeah, Running and gunning is not a great, viable option. Oh, what do you think of the um, variety in guns and customization? Mm. I haven't really played with enough gun. Fucking hell. I mean, we don't know if this is going to be the layout for the game when it releases. Like, if uh, you get everything unlocked immediately and you just have to sort of keep playing games to wow. unlock the special stuff. But Yeah, I haven't played enough, with enough of guns and various things to comment on that. However, the gunplay itself is challenging. But it's sometimes... Like aim straight. Yeah. Yeah. That's just a recall, but sometimes it's sim it can feel a bit slow uh, with the movement. Maybe I need to turn up the, you know, uh, sensitivity, but it just feels a bit slow to turn. I'll tell you what, my favourite thing about this game, and it's, this is similar to CSGO, uh, you know when you start a round and you're attacking, and it'll be on the 5v5 game mode, the uh, multiplayer one, uh, and you can you found both the bomb sites and you get to choose which one you go to, uh, and you've got to use yeah. the and I use what I do is I try and keep that camera alive, and then I try and find which room has got the least people in, and then the entire team infiltrate that room because most people barricade themselves in one of the bomb sites, don't they? And they can't leave it really, uh, so they sort of dedicate themselves to one bomb site. So four of them go in one bomb site and they're all boarded up, and another one goes in one bomb site and there's only one of them in there. Then the entire team infiltrates that. Then it just feels so fucking tactical. You get to choose and you get to plan how you come in. Like you can drop through the roof, someone blows in the wall, and the guy's just fucked. He has no idea what he's doing. Oh, okay, apparently it was only going to be so. I say that's the the variety in the way you can attack a bomb and the way you can defend it as well uh, really helps. What do you think about the um, these uh, operators and how they affect the way you play? Do you reckon they actually the really affect system? that much? Shit, it's god awful that system. The fact that you can only have one person being a particular operator in yeah. the, uh, every game is ridiculous. I mean, it does mean that you haven't got seven people laying tra trap mines everywhere and then the entire place just becomes booby trap. It does mean that you have to place them with tactics in mind because there's a chance they couldn't get it used. Also means, also means that some players will not get to play uh, they, the way they want to. And personally, for me, uh, and I don't know, this might sound like some what I've said before, but the, some, uh, the reason why I enjoy games like RPGs and well, um, with those games, it's because it gives the player ultimate choice. Fuck no, you just got dicked. Yes, I did, and I'm about to get dicked again. Brilliant. Oh, Two sorry, suicide sorry. bombers. But yeah, it, I enjoy games for player choice. Sometimes I can enjoy a linear experience, but that limits player choice when you're being forced to pick someone you don't really want to, because someone else is taking your choice. Mm. You Not know I me. Mean? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. You know what I mean, thing. mate? You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. So, I don't really like that system. I don't really see why they couldn't have just found a way into having... I get what you mean with the uh, laser traps. But if and then otherwise there'd be like 15 stuff. people with turrets lined up in one corridor just shooting at it. Yeah. But... Yeah, I suppose. But then just don't have a system in place where you can exploit that. Well, they've got the thing where you can choose, if you don't end up choosing the character, you can still choose their weapon they use. So if you don't want to use, if you still want to use the P90, for instance, you can use that if somebody's chosen the operator, the medic guy. 
so I think that's I think it's an all right system. I don't think they affect the gameplay too much. Step up. Step up. I think the only one that actually has a difference is the um uh, what's his name? The one that can blow up the metal wall. Yeah, the one that can blow up the metal wall, I think he's the only one that actually um is any of use when I've used. Like the heartbeat guy doesn't actually seem to be useful because if somebody's in close quarters you pretty much know they're there because they'll start shooting at you. Uh, so he's pretty much useless. Uh, I mean the other, oh, the only other one I'd seen that would be useful is the one who um, jams communication, the mute guy. Because uh, when you're trying to find the bumps... Oh, you're having a fucking laugh. Servers oh, are unreachable. Brilliant. Well, there is a perfect example of the problems with the servers we've been facing with this game. It's not just been like once and that's something like that. It's been like every time we've tried to go on, we've had some form of server problems. Exactly. This, uh, open beta. Well, I think that should sign uh, pretty much end of the review. Do you want to, want to give it a rating out of 10 with everything in mind? Just on the beta, Ooh. not the full game, because we don't know anything about I'll the full game. Up, I'll sum up my thoughts and then give it a score. Graphics are nothing special. But they're okay, they're passable. Gunplay is alright, a bit challenging, but that's what you'd expect with a Rainbow Six game. Uh, operating, well, the operators, shit. Uh, servers, god awful. The way you can approach uh, the attacking aspect is really good. That's a really positive thing. The defending aspect isn't so good. Because really, uh, it's basically the same thing uh, every time you play. So I'd give it, for the beta alone, the impression, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Luke, what about you? I agree with Hamish. Uh, more of a tactical game than I, than I prefer. I prefer like a run and gun, like a COD. But I know. Um, if the servers were better, then I would probably give it a higher score, but probably about a five or a six. Right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go based off the potential of this game, uh, with the competitive scene. If they fix the servers, and when the game comes live, uh, earning those credit point stuff isn't incredibly nerfed, and it's like earn five points every time you play a match, uh, then I would have, I'm gonna give this a seven. Just, but if it the servers never get fixed and it's just constantly shit like this, then it'll probably be a five, like you guys said. Uh, so if you have enjoyed, can I just you what? Go on. Can I just interject with a suggestion of another game, multiplayer game, with great stealth and tactical gameplay with small squads? Tom knows what I'm talking about here, don't you, Tom? All Last of Us multiplayer, which is just so good. Certainly good for tactical, so, maybe not gunplay, but tactics wise, yeah. Well, not, but yeah, tactical, which is quite similar. And to skill this. level, definitely, if you want a difficult yeah. game. For like tactical games on console, that really sets the standard. The last yeah, this is really, a, this really is more of a console competitive game rather than a PC game, because if you want a game like this, you're going to play CSGO. It's yeah. CSGO is the better option. It's the console so CSGO. Console, console tactical multiplayer games. Standard is at least the last of us multiplayer. Right. Well, that is the end of the video. If you have enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and peace. I'm sorry, are you my nan? <laughs> she just left on the floor, almost dead. Right, well, this is my nan we're talking about. Yeah, and you were making me joke about her struggling to get up the stairs. Which she does. What are you trying to say about my nan who struggles to said, get up the stairs? You just leave her on the floor. I don't leave her on the floor. That's something you might do to your nan. I certainly don't do that to my nan. 